Hey everyone, Renata is back. So let's talk about something that we hear everywhere and we see all those posts and uh, watch the videos and everyone's talking about this. So they're talking about the beliefs, the blocks, the emotions, thoughts, you name it. And they tell you to think positively, to have good thoughts, just to feel good and enjoy the life. And that all that eventually will help you transform and get the things that you dream about. You're just going to manifest them magically, right? So you hear and see all those things and they're everywhere you turn, right? And you want to skip through those messages or delete or ignore or even block them because they just feel like crap. They just feel like crap to you personally because you just don't believe in that. And you probably think that all those people are just living in a fantasy world. So what's really going on here? Here's my take on all this. I do believe that we do need to think positively and feel good no matter what. Okay. But that comes with a different angle, meaning I would never tell you if you're in crappy situations uh, or circumstance that you need to just think positively, just have good thoughts no matter what and feel good. Because you know what? What's going to happen is you're going to tell me, go to hell because I feel shitty. I feel crappy and there is just no way I can feel good or think about something good, right? And that will be true. I've done that too. And I know a lot of people who feel the same way. So to me, the think positive movement is more like you gotta realize that the thoughts that you're thinking right now and your behaviors and everything associated with your emotional state may not be real, may not be really who you are at the moment because all that, or at least most of that, were created way back in the day and most likely when you were like, two, three, five, or seven years old, because at that moment you were just a sponge and you did not really have that subconscious programming running automatically as you do now. And you were just absorbing everything you so experienced that was repeated to you multiple times. Like, how do you know that the green is the green that you need to call it? How do you know that the red is red or that that is a tree or that is a table or a desk or a wall. You were told one time, one at one point of the time that these are the names of those things, right? And that it's not okay to to say hurtful things to people, uh, that you're supposed to probably be compassionate and express your feelings or on the contrary to not express how you feel because that's not a norm, right? That's how I personally grew up. I was not really asked how I felt in the childhood. So that kind of made my programming so it's that it's not okay to express, right? And we all have certain aspects that we may not like right now in our current life, but that's what the programming is about. So when we say speak positively, talk positively, or think or feel, uh, it's more about that you need to go back to who you really are because at this moment in time, not every one of us knows who we are. We just know who we became based on all the knowledge that was put on us, all the experience, all the things that we kind of were, that came to our lives, right? So we don't know really who we are unless we intentionally go and look and we find out all the good, bad, ugly, lovely, and disgusting things probably about ourselves. That's how we know who we are. And then we figure out what we want And that will tell you exactly if you're aligned 
with what's going on in your mind, what, what's going on in your heart and in your life with where you want to be at some point in time. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So it's just basically what that positivity means is that we need to take all the trash out of ourselves. Things that we do not like, that are not aligned with us. It's like I had a client um, who developed a, or actually accepted the belief at some point in time, uh, early in childhood, when her dad um, made her just get on a a scale and weigh herself in front of a close friend. That was so embarrassing that she uh, created a belief uh, and a perception of herself that she is never going to be good enough and that she need to be ashamed of, of uh, however much she weighs. And guess what happened? Over the next 45 years or so, she's been carrying that shame with her that expressed in her lack of self-esteem, confidence, that was translated into not having a fulfilling relationship because she didn't think that she was good enough for better. And... Only when we worked on eliminating those beliefs and changing that perception of herself, how she viewed herself, what that, what, what, what all those things meant to her, only then, like in like really few short months, she dropped her weight to her lowest. But she could not do that before because that belief was so strong. And that filter was so dirty, like I said, that she couldn't do that. No matter what she tried, meditations, affirmations, you name it, she just couldn't do that because it was not in her capacity. And she could not understand that all that was recorded and stored in the subconscious mind that is habitual and that pulls every single thing from her past to protect her in the current day. I know it sounds weird, but that's what our mind does. Its purpose is to protect us and to move us away from pain. So in its interesting, strange and odd and weird way. So whenever you hear about positive thinking and feeling good, and sometimes I use it personally myself, um, Don't think that no matter what's going on, you need to introduce a positive thought. I would instead suggest you to reframe and look for what's really good happening in your life. Because no matter how shitty things are, there will be something that is happening good. And it's all about shifting your focus. It's all about focusing on the things that feeling good because it's you will not be able to transform your thinking in a matter of seconds you can change belief in the matter of minutes or so but the thinking is coming from your subconscious mind which is the automated programming that we're just running in the background but what you can do consciously you can Make yourself look and focus on things that are good, that are happening in your life, around you. People who lift you up instead of dragging you down. You can do that. So try to find those things every single day, no matter how bad you feel or crappy situations are around you because you can do that and the more you do that you're setting the stronger foundation um, for the future and the easier becomes to shift those beliefs and the easier becomes to change that filter how you see everything because everything is about how you perceive things how you see them how you view yourself, what you think and feel about yourself and how 
all that translates into the outside world. Okay, so I hope you all that makes sense. And I hope that you have great the rest of the week. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.